Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something game changing for you. As you know, ChatGPT can do really a lot, but most prompt guides out there are not as helpful as I'd like them to be. That's why I put a practical collection of prompts for various sorts of tasks. I want to give credit to Brian D. Evans because I took a lot of prompts from his newsletters, so I do recommend you to subscribe as well. Now I'm going to share my screen and show you 19 handy prompts, so let's get started. The first six prompts are for productivity. Prompt number one is to master time management with the Eisenhower matrix. The prompt is help me categorize my tasks using the Eisenhower matrix and create a prioritized action plan for increased productivity. Now I'm going to copy the list of tasks which I could prioritize, paste it into chat GPT like this and hit enter. First, it is going to categorize my tasks. So there are four categories, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and not urgent, not important. Uh, then I get a prioritized action plan based on my tasks and I can adjust them or fine tune to my real life needs. Prompt number two is to apply the Pomodoro technique for focused work. It is a time management method developed in the late 80s. It is designed to improve your productivity and focus by breaking work into intervals. The prompt is explain the Pomodoro technique and guide me through setting up my work sessions and breaks for optimal focus and productivity. Send this off and it provides a step-by-step -step guide on how you can use the Pomodoro technique for optimal focus and productivity. Prompt number three is to optimize task organization with the Kanban method. The Kanban method is an approach to managing work that originated from the Toyota production system. I'm not going to explain how it works because now we have ChatGPT for that. So I'm going to ask it, introduce me to the Kanban method and help me design a personalized system to visualize and manage my workflow. First, it introduces you to this method, and then again, you get step-by-step -step instructions on how to implement it in your workflow. Prompt number four is to develop routines for consistency and discipline. The prompt is design a morning and evening routine to help me establish consistency, discipline, and a productive mindset throughout the day. Hit enter. And now, wow, it is great. This is exactly what I do, but I had to experiment. I had to read many books listen to many podcasts to come up with my current routine and according to my experience this routine provided by chat gpt it is really the best for for the majority of people by the way you can check out my video on my morning and evening routines and how i learned to manage my sleep let me know if you like it prompt number five is to leverage the power of habit staking this is very similar to the previous request we know that our well-being very much depends on our habits right there are countless videos articles and books on the best productivity habits you can use chat gpt to digest all those books articles and research papers and get a structured list of the best habits to be productive and overall to increase your well-being. The prompt is identify key habits I can stack together to form a seamless routine that will improve my productivity and overall well-being. Hit enter and you get the list of the best habits to be effective. Of course you should adapt these habits to your unique needs you know but in general this is a selection to go with. Prompt number six is to employ the two-minute rule for quick wins. The prompt is explain the two-minute rule and help me identify tasks I can complete immediately to build momentum and a sense of accomplishment. Hit enter. So this is a productivity principle that suggests that if a task takes less than two minutes to complete, you should do it right away rather than postponing it. So we get an explanation for this rule as well as some examples. Hey, if you like this video so far, hit the like button, subscribe, it is free for you, but it should help me grow this channel, so please do it. The next three prompts will be investing prompts, but this is not professional advice, okay? Prompt number seven is to build a diversified portfolio with the asset allocation strategy. The prompt is help me create an asset allocation plan for my investment portfolio, taking into account my risk tolerance, investment goals, and timeline. Send this off. It is going to ask you several questions about your situation and goals. And once you provide the answers, ChatGPT will create an asset allocation plan for you. Prompt number eight is to use technical analysis to inform your trades. The prompt is guide me through the process of using technical analysis to inform my trades, including identifying key indicators and chart patterns. So if you are interested in training, ChatGPT can provide a step-by-step -step guide 
for you to, you know, just to get started. Prompt number nine is to write code for trading. Obviously, we must be responsible while using it. There are no shortcuts. It is not going to make you a millionaire overnight. But if you want to test some code for trading, ChatGPT can be a good starting point to test your ideas. An example of such a prompt might be write a trading strategy in Python script that buys Ethereum whenever the RSI dips below 30 and sells that asset whenever the RSI goes above 70 on a daily candle. Hit enter and ChatGPT is going to provide a piece of code which you can conveniently copy and paste as well as some guidelines on how to use it, right? The next seven prompts are for creativity. So the purpose of this kind of prompt is to use ChatGPT as a brainstorming partner, as a co-pilot, to get inspired with more ideas during your thinking process. Prompt number 10 is to kickstart your ideas with the scamper technique. Scamper is a thinking technique that challenges the status quo and helps you explore new possibilities about your business idea, product, etc. All right, the prompt would be apply the scamper method, which is substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to another use, eliminate, reverse to product idea or concept. So let's say my restaurant business my restaurant business um, to generate new and innovative ideas. Hit enter and you get a brainstorming framework. According to this method, there are seven, right? Seven points of view. These are basically the ideas that you can iterate on and move forward. Prompt number 11 is to use the six thinking heads approach to diverse perspectives. So the prompt is analyze the problem or idea using the six thinking heads framework. Let's, let's paste my problem, which is improving public transportation in a growing city and explore different aspects and perspectives. Let's hit enter and we get six, basically six points of views, facts and information, emotions and feelings, critical thinking, optimism and positivity, creativity and innovation, and process control. Now you can apply these heads, let's say, to specific aspects. This is what ChatGPT did here. And essentially, as always, this is a brainstorming framework. You get these ideas, you can elaborate on them. For example, I can ask it to elaborate on Red Hat point of view, and it is going to provide more arguments, more ideas related to this particular point of view, and I can move forward from there. Prompt number 12 is to foster lateral thinking with random connections. The prompt would be generate a list of random objects, ideas, or concepts and explore potential connections to my problem or project to encourage lateral thinking. So I'm going to paste here my problem, which would be, let's say, back pain. Hit enter. The idea is the same. It is going to provide a list of related objects or ideas uh, which might trigger some new thinking directions for you. Prompt number 13 is to find inspiration from other industries. So it might be more applicable to business related problems. The prompt is identify examples of successful innovations or solutions from other industries and explain how they can be adapted or applied to my industry or problem. Let, let's say to my leather accessories business, okay? And I am getting, as always, various examples of success stories of use cases which were applicable to other industries for other companies and perhaps i could be inspired by those or i can ask to provide provide more examples and i keep getting more examples and i can continue i can do the same it is kind of iterative process until i get some inspiration or an aha moment. Prompt number 14 is to challenge assumptions to break conventional thinking. This is very similar to the first principle thinking, which is the favorite method of Elon Musk. This is basically a practice of questioning every assumption you think you know about a given problem and then create new solutions from scratch. My prompt would be list common assumptions about my problem or industry. In this case, I'll say venture funding, all right? Um, and suggest ways to challenge or break them to create novel solutions. Hit enter. And I get a list of various assumptions and of course challenges, how to challenge those assumptions. Let's say 
the assumption is the only path to success is through traditional venture funding. And the challenge is to explore alternative funding models like crowdfunding, revenue-based financing, grants, or bootstrapping. Look for niche investors who specialize in your industry or have a unique perspective. I find these assumptions really, really valid so I can go through them and move forward from there. Prompt number 15 is to leverage analogies to simplify complex concepts. The prompt is construct analogies or metaphors to help me better understand and communicate the key aspects of complex idea or concept, let's say blockchain, okay? Hit enter. You get a great analogy explaining how blockchain works. As always, if you don't like this one, you can ask ChatGPT to provide another one and perhaps you will like this one better. This is really great if you need to prepare a presentation about something complex, so you can use ChatGPT to help you with inspiration for some nice and easy to understand metaphors. Prompt number 16 is to leverage the daydreaming for creativity. The prompt is guide me through a daydreaming exercise focused on, let's say, my um, dating routine to encourage free-flowing thoughts and unlock my creative potential. Um, send this off and you get a step-by-step -step guide, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this exercise. The next three prompts could be described as entrepreneurship prompts. Prompt number 17 is to develop a compelling value proposition. The prompt is assist me in crafting a compelling value proposition for my product or service. In this case, I'll say review management software as a service for SMBs highlighting its unique selling points and benefits to the target audience. Send this message so I get a valid list of unique selling points as well as benefits to my uh, potential customers. So now I can take this and test them with my real life audience. Prompt number 18 is to validate your business idea. The prompt would be design a lean validation strategy for my review management SaaS for SMBs, including specific experiments and methods to test its viability in the market. I hit enter and it provides you with a step-by-step -step approach on how to validate your business idea. It even gives you specific assumptions to test. So it is not only a framework, but there are some ideas included. By the way, if you really need to validate your business idea, I have a separate video on this topic. Make sure to check it out. It is really a great tutorial on how to do it. Prompt number 19 is to create a business model. The prompt would be guide me in creating a comprehensive business model for my review management SaaS for SMBs, detailing the key components such as revenue streams, customer segments, and distribution channels. I hit enter and you get the outline for a business plan and you work on each of the components separately. Just a reminder, at this stage, ChatGPT is not going to do 100% of the work for you. You still have to do it, but this is a powerful tool that you could use to significantly speed up the process. All right, I hope you discovered at least one useful prompt today. In this case, my work here is not completely pointless. If you did, please let me know in the comments. I need this kind of feedback. I'm going to publish another video with more interesting prompts. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again.